The system begins with the release of angiotensinogen into circulation by the liver. This may be in response to low blood pressure and adverse changes in sodium concentrations. An enzyme, renin, is secreted which cleaves angiotensinogen to form the inactive decapeptide angiotensin 1. Further transformation of angiotensin is carried out by angiotensin-converting enzyme, or ACE. This is predominantly found in the pulmonary circulation. However, ACE is also produced in the vascular endothelium of many tissues, including the kidney, adrenal gland, brain, and heart. The angiotensin-converting enzyme converts the inactive precursor angiotensin 1 into the vasoactive peptide angiotensin 2. Angiotensin-converting enzyme also degrades bradykinin, which is required for synthesis of a major vasodilator, nitric oxide. Angiotensin 2 binds AT1 receptors expressed on the surface of vascular endothelium and impairs nitric oxide synthesis as well. Reduced bioavailability of nitric oxide combined with the stimulation of AT1 receptors on smooth muscle cells causes vasoconstriction. In addition to a vasoconstriction effect, stimulation of AT1 receptor causes the adrenal glands to release the hormone aldosterone, resulting in sodium retention. Combined with vasoconstriction, this increases blood pressure. 